Hey, what's up guys? Pocusome here. In this video, um, I picked up some Marvel Comics 7 for $10 uh, combo packs. Um, I really liked the cover on this Black Panther, so I picked that pack up. And then this one seemed pretty thick. So I was like, hmm, maybe there's a, you know, a couple of uh, larger books in there. Um... They had a few more than this, but this is all I decided to pick up for now. Let's see what's in them. I've already cut them open on the top. So, uh, yeah, this was the main reason, well, the, the only reason I bought this one. This Black Panther number one variant, which is probably, well, it doesn't say second printing, though. So, I'm kind of, oh, there we go. Second printing, yeah. So, it's a wraparound, uh, Alex Ross. So, uh, very nice. Or is it an Alex Ross? I thought it was an Alex Ross. Didn't he do the covers for this run of Black Panther? Which is not the most current run, which just rebooted. But, um, yeah, Alex Ross cover artist. So, yeah, had to pick that up. And let's see what we have after that. Okay, interesting. So, they threw in two three-packs. They also have these... Uh, whichever company puts these out at the local retailers has these uh, originally three for nine dollars, I believe. It's either nine or ten dollars. I guess when they don't sell, they eventually repackage them and just try to get rid of them at a cheaper price. So I'm going to need my scissors for these. And we'll see what is in here. The, you know, uh, right off the bat. Um, I'm not, I'm not familiar enough with the Star Wars comics to know if this is anything worth having or not. I'm just not into Star Wars. I've seen the main nine movies, but you know, other than that. All right, let's see what we have in here. We have a Star Wars 25, which for some reason I'm thinking I already had um, in another combo pack. But I could be wrong. I don't know. And we have a Star Wars 25 variant edition. Don't know if it's a Walmart exclusive or not. We have a Legion of X second printing. Um... Number one, second printing. I don't know if that's the first Mother Righteous or not. And we have a Venom number five regular cover. Oh, no, it's a variant. Okay. Um, hmm. Not real sure on that one. Okay, and let's get into this second three-pack. And I'm even less familiar with the Alien comics and movies than I am Star Wars. So, yeah, I, I don't know if this is a good one to have or not. Philip Kennedy Johnson. I've read a couple of things by him. So we have Alien number seven um, variant. Okay. But there's that. Don't know anything about it. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Star Wars Legends number 50. You know, it's an old school cover. Is this a re? This must be a reprint. I don't know if it's a retailer exclusive reprint or if this is just the common reprint but that's pretty cool was this a big you know there's a, been a whole lot of reprints here recently and we have war of the realms the punisher number one already had that so nothing no big deal there um that's the main cover i think okay so yeah yeah I mean, at a 7 for $10, you know, at that price, you can't really, can't really argue with what you get. And here's this one that was thick, a Phoenix Song number 2 variant. Pretty cool cover. I don't know if it's a retailer exclusive or not. I'll have to look that up. Then, oh boy, another Aliens number 7. <laughs> All right, another Aliens number 7. How about that? Anybody want to buy it? I'll sell it right now for two dollar. Yeah, I'm a 
assuming these are going to be dollar bin books. Well, I'm just talking about Alien number seven. Alien in general. <laughs> no offense. All right, there's that one we've already seen. Here's an... Oh, this is a very thick one. Okay, Uncanny X-Men. Second... Number one, second printing. Um, I, I'm assuming this is from the recent run. March 2019. Okay. Uh... Brisson Rosenberg Thompson writers. Okay, uh, I did not have this. Don't know if, hey, it might be a decent one to, to have. I, I, your guess is as good as mine. Actually, it might be better than mine. And a king size Conan number one variant. So there's another kind of thick book. $7 book originally, $8 book on the X-Men. And let's see here. What's in this final three-pack? Start it off with a Moon Knight, which I'm definitely okay with. I have picked up a couple of issues from this run, from Jed McKay's run. Uh, haven't gotten into it fully, though. So let's see what else we have in this one. Uh, let's see, that is, well, it doesn't say anything about being a variant, but typically the gray back means it is. Okay, and we have an X-Factor number 10, second printing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's another thick book, Incoming, originally a $10 book. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I have no problem with this at all. Uh, I'm assuming this. I'm assuming there's only one printing of this. Don't know for sure. Uh, let's see. Published one shot. Blah blah blah. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. I mean, we got a ten dollar book originally, which you can probably pick up for five dollars or less. I'm sure. I mean, even if I put three on that one, one, two. I mean, yeah, I'm 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 very happy with this this second one, mainly because of incoming and. The other thick books. Okay, so there you go. That'll give y'all a little, little idea of what to expect in these. Uh, nothing out of this world, but if you do find a thick, you know, a thick one like I did with this one, um, maybe you should pick it up just because, you know, I don't know. I mean, originally a $10 book. A original retail value would have been on this one. My gosh, how much? 10 14 18, almost all comics are at least $4 now. 25, 33, 37, 41. So if you would have picked these up originally from a retailer, it would have cost $41. I got them for 10. You can't really argue with that, you know? Uh, sometimes the three for nine can be hit or miss. You know, if there's a retailer exclusive cover, I grab those. A retailer exclusive cover that I like, I should say. Like I grabbed up all of the uh, Thanos Death Notes, Walmart exclusive. Um, but yeah, forty-one dollars cover price for ten dollars. You know you can't argue with that. Uh, this one I mainly picked up for the Black Panther. You know, even if it's, I mean, it's a nice. Even if it's only a $3 book, hey, I mean, even if the, and there we go, that's a nice one in the first pack too, so even if the rest of them are only a dollar, you know, I can live with that. You, you're you're going to at least break even on these, theoretically. Um, and I know I could not get $40 for these, but, uh, you know, I'm sure I could get 15 or 20 so maybe. And one day, who knows? Anyway, okay, I'm done rambling. Uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys an idea of what to expect if you were thinking about picking up some of these. Uh, all right, be excellent to yourselves, dudes. Have a good one.